Hello, my name is Anne Olson and I'm an epidemiologist at the International Agency for Research on Cancer. If you are interested in asbestos exposure and lung cancer risk, I recommend that you read our open access paper, uh, Exposure Response Analysis of Asbestos and Lung Cancer Subtypes in a Pooled Analysis of Case Control Studies to be published in Epidemiology. Our objectives in this uh, paper is to estimate the lung cancer risk associated with occupational and asbestos exposure while adjusting for smoking. Secondly, to look at, uh, to assess the exposure response relationship by a major lung cancer subtype and smoking status. And also to assess the lung cancer joint effect of uh, asbestos exposure and, and smoking. The take home message in this paper is that our results in men show an increased lung cancer risk at low cumulative exposure levels with a, a steeper exposure response relationship than at higher previously studied levels. So our results are based on pooled data from 14 case control studies on lung cancer conducted in Europe and Canada and includes more than 17,000 lung cancer cases and 21,000 uh, population controls uh, with detailed information on uh, tobacco habits and lifelong occupations. And more than 45 co-authors have contributed to this paper. For the exposure assessment, the Institute of Risk Assessment Sciences constructed a quantitative job exposure matrix that we call SYNGEM statistical models were applied to uh, exposure measurements to predict job uh, time and region specific exposure levels and combined with the life uh, long job histories we were able to estimate exposure levels for each year for each individual in the study in men our results showed an increased risk from the second quartile of cumulative asbestos exposure and that corresponds to more than 0.5 fiber per milliliter years. And the increased risk persisted more than 20 years after the asbestos exposure had ceased. And these results were rather robust when we did different kinds of uh, sensitivity analysis. And the joint effect of asbestos exposure and smoking uh, in relation to lung cancer subtypes uh, was almost perfectly <coughs> multiplicative. The major limitation in this study was that uh, there was a lack of measurements, uh, exposure measurements before 1975 and also for certain jobs, why we had to uh, extrapolate uh, exposure levels from more recent years based on trends in the observed data and also to make a number of assumptions. The use of quantitative exposure assessment in population-based case control studies is an important methodological step forward because currently most evidence is uh, based on uh, industrial cohort studies with inherent uh, limitations regarding number of cases, uh, the healthy worker effect, lack of uh, lifestyle uh, information and also they study much higher levels than uh, what is relevant for the general population.